Just got promoted to M7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. <laughs> Uh oh. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Solarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. Oh. A Solarian? Move like a damn <laughs> thing, I swear. When everybody was out cold or running, he walked over and helped me out. And seven years. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's his biography about he, how he joined in seven. No, this is extremely cool. Oh, childhood? Interesting. But that's a little dry. And someone's gonna spice this up, right? Never been much for the spotlight. Anyway, where was I? It was a second marriage for my parents. They were almost she me. My mother worked shifts. So my father would often take me to the base. While he worked, I watched transport ships and fighters take off. Worked his whole life around space travel, my father. He never left Earth. Hmm. Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Too Don't late. That in. Who is it, Kaylee? Oh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll get to the more interesting N7 stuff next time. Turing experience? I think so too. There you go. And if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I <laughs> Yeah. 
construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable huh. with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientist in shackles and a human Torian fist oh, fighting over a den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. The day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. Nice. Sucks, but... Yeah. Saren was just, yeah. He was a not good character. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So this must be the master bedroom and bath. This is the guest bedroom. Contact. No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. My first real combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war. Strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle and that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. <laughs> we're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens. Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe, now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were, about to face an enemy as different and unknown as cool. I could imagine. I knew I had to say something, keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's going to be okay. Well, that's cool. A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home mm -hmm. against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there. That's nice. And dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th Hold on. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. That sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. 
Deep space survival training. Well, that has to be so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once, when they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could. Hmm. That moment is the test. I've seen men and women almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes. Yeah. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few. None Fair enough. Like to share. But uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? <laughs> Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you I do. your heart over your mind? <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I, I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is, war isn't orderly, and the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations yeah. they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit. Your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader. Oh, jeez. War tends yeah. to examples of them. What makes a good leader, then? Mm -hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a terrible line to have to walk. It is. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. That's cool. Okay, uh, oh. Catalog. I can customize? Dang, that's cool. Demet Shushi, place on me. Hey Shepard, I got a few things I want to go over with you. With with Normandy and Dry Dock, Dry Dock, I figure we can meet up on the Wuse Sushi place down in the wards. I hear it's the best. New questions? Okay. I have your new questions here. As a leader, do I ever feel that the end justify the means? Spirit of law over word of law. I'm not going to touch that with a ten foot pole, <laughs> but I think I know what you're after. You're referring to the way I um, arranged to have the Normandy released to Commander Shepard before the Battle of the Citadel. I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, 
what we needed them to do. Yeah. Siren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is never be. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know. Hmm. But that's cool. You get a whole entire point where you can customize. Keeping us to free. Anderson's awesome, man. Tells me you're gonna have the option to give the apartment to Joker. Ah, Commander Shepherd, you'll take. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, joke. Okay. We're all the way down at the end. Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like, French guy is more <laughs> serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line yeah. outside? Jeez. But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, our ship. Your ship. It's more the best it's... thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. <laughs> this is a vacation. You can relax here. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. <laughs> I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. <laughs> awesome use of power. <laughs> so, your email said it what was email? important? My email. I'm here because I got a message from you. I didn't send anything. What? Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! Uh, what's up? I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance. Excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. What? Yeah, well, I think he's yeah. aware of that. No, I don't mean Starburst and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting Why? you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess, without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant. Which is bad. <laughs> Hang on, Biggs. Take a breath. You know what Joker did too, apparently? From the top. What do you know? 
Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. These people. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by random acts of violence. Damn you, Joker. Don't hurt yourself. Man, I love show business. Spread out, boys. Find me Shepard. Uh, we don't have our guns either. Shoot. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker. Joker. Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Hey, we took our army too. Did you use me as bait? No. Go. No, I didn't. I didn't. I got shot. Brooks. Hang on. It's a bit late for that. Fire ammo? This is gonna fall for me. Why are they after me? Oh no. These people aren't working for Cerberus. Or the Reapers. My gun with one one bullet left in it. Commander, I found is still alive. Are no, okay she's not. There? Someone's faking yep. a voice. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I think you Oops. used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Yeah, I don't think that's the real works. It might be, though. Hey, be careful. Data pad. Guys, I don't care if the current temperature units still work. Put the new ones in along this section. All on, all on. Uh, let's try that again. Guys, I don't care if the current temperature units still work. Put the new ones in all along this section. The customers have the customer has permits and wants to work and wants work to start immediately. Even paid up front with a crazy bonus. Get it done. Fax, fax, fax. City the layer. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, it's a sky car lot. Cision motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked. 
That's good. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Is this the lane you smoking? Also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. They really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Hey, shoo! Bless me. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't have the ammo to take him out. Ah, uh, how they see me? Jeez. Shepard, can you hear me? Are you hey, Liara. I'm fine. Might need a little backup. Thank the goddess. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but should reach you soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. From easy meat, we do not make anything that tastes like Hogan, and certainly not barbecue asai. Well then. <laughs> this is not a sorry business with you. Please restrict your orders to what's in the official catalog. Sincerely, Grit Blast. Shipping director Easy Mills Inc. In danger. Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Everybody play nice. I've been spotted. They got a sniper. That was weird considering getting say hey, can I hack this right quick? Okay. Go away from me. Gosh dang sniper.
There we go. Yes. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. Wouldn't have it any other way. Credits, data pad, boots, first shoes. I know you're looking all the food and I'm not around. Stop that. Seriously. Well, okay then. Okay then. That's the most important data pad to ever find in this game. It reveals the entire plot of this Brooks, game. Found a way across. It's locked down. Try to override. Excuse me, I quick I click some credits. Oh cool. Hey, I got level 50. Can't upgrade my dominate yet though. No! Damn it! It's all under control. They said some kind of alarm. What's going on? I thought I'd make things more interesting. Of course you did. Get to cover! Shepard, Brooks sent me the nav point for the Sky Car lot. I'll meet you there. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns that don't like me. That's not That's not helpful. That's about as much as I know. Hey, they called me. <laughs> Get off me. Oh, jeez. He, he use they use ow. They use cloaking and a sm smoke grenade to get away. <laughs> There's another one. I mean, he didn't have good aim though. Yeah, I'm really liking it. Could, could use a little bit more ammo in it. Better than that, I like it. Very bells! I think I tore my ACL doing something extreme! I'm starting to black out from the pain! Yeah! Gibber, the Gibster, Gablansky, PS. Okay, guys, I'm really blacking out.
Where'd you go? Quit going. It doesn't. Commander, there's a C-Sec shuttle inbound if you can get to the Skycar lot. Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. <laughs> Damn it. Calm down, Brooks. I'm not sure I entirely trust it's her. Someone could be just be using a voice modification program. Get him, Liar. Having a bad day, a little bit of one. You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. Uh, control Thank panel, you. right. 